Kuli. Eikä se latsi. Are you okay today? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Still under oath, ma'am? Yes. <coughs> My Lord, before I proceed, Mr. Um, Advocate Minister, I would like to address the court. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, My Lord, I wish to bring it to the attention of the court that there are some concerns that uh, Mr. Mube also wishes through me yeah. to bring to the attention of the court. Yes. Number one, it's the issue about the their inability or his inability to bathe in the morning due to the fact that they do not have warm water or in the cell where he's accommodated, there's no warm water. And he is informing me that uh, that has been the case since the beginning of the winter. And when he brings that to the attention of the authorities at the prison, they are saying to him that there's nothing that he can do about it, but that he should know that if he decides to use cold water, he would be doing it at his own risk. And if he gets flu, they would not be taking him to a hospital or to a clinic or wherever. That was just the first concern. And he's saying that since Thursday, because of the weather condition, he has not been able to bath. He would normally take risk on other days when the weather conditions are, are, are a little bit manageable, but because of the fluctuation of the weather this weekend, he has not been able to take a bath. That was just the first point. Mm -hmm. Then the second point is his continued incarceration in the solitary confinement. Well, uh, I mean, for a better weight, I would use it uh, solitary confinement because he's, he's in a cubicle there at cell, uh, what, what do they, what the place again? Uh, at, at, at CMAX, where he is not entitled to make s cell phone calls, uh, calls to his family. He has got no, um, um, amenities like the television or radio, he's just stuck alone there. He does not speak to a person or whatever. He's only entitled to make calls, I think it's once or twice a month. Yes. And then um, when he brings that to the attention of the prison authorities, they are saying that him being kept in that facility or in such a facility is as a result of this case. And he just informed me that when you raise them with the, uh, when you raise this concern with the prison authorities, they are saying that even this court is aware that he should be kept in there because of the, the, the case that is ongoing, the matter that we are busy with, my lord. So, and he has, uh, he has actually indicated to me, and I can confirm that, in terms of me uh, receiving instructions for, from him, um, he, it's difficult. He, it, it's, it's difficult because it's 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 like he's 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 in a no man's land, being kept alone. It's it's. Uh, I think that is akin to Guatemala prison. I think that's the way that I used the other time. But that position still persists, my lord. So basically, he says to me, if this situation were to allow to continue like this, he will find it very um, tough and difficult to come to court and specifically to come and give me instructions in order to, for his defense. <clears throat> and um, further on, my lord, he's requested me to employ this court uh, because he's also got an injury on his, on, his, um, on his right arm. I think it was a fractured bone. So <clears throat> that also exacerbated the issue of him having to use <clears throat> cold water 
So, but then he's saying to me that I should implore this court to pardon him tomorrow because he needs to go to the clinic tomorrow. I think he's got an appointment if this court were to delay in terms of its starting time a lot. He says somewhere around 11 or up past 11. Those are the concerns that he has, my lord. And then I said to him, I would suggest that because that is beyond my control, that is also beyond the control of the court, probably the court would use its uh, inherent jurisdiction and the powers that the court has to summon Mr. Pebengo, the gentleman that he normally speaks to, to come and explain himself as to the position here. What, because what he has been in that solitary confinement for almost four years. And he tells me that people who get kept in that facility are people who commit offenses whilst they've actually been incarcerated and convicted, like people who assault other prisoners and people who disobey the laws of prison. And that gets written down as a record. But insofar as he is concerned, that is not the case. They are just saying the reason why he's kept there is because of this ongoing case. It's basically a punishment when in terms of this case, is presumed innocent until found guilty by this court, my lord. But apparently they have decided to find him guilty even before this case can be finalized. Those are the concerns, my lord, that he said I should bring okay. to Who is attention. Mr. Kwebengu, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the headmasters of the prison. I don't know what really his title so is. So you want us to talk to him? I've spoken to him on a number of occasions, my lord, but as of late, he has decided no longer to pick up my calls. And each time you come here, Mr. Mnube raises some concerns. I'm unable to deal with those concerns, my lord. So I say the best thing in the interest of administration of justice, in the interest of fairness and equity, that I should bring his complaints to the attention of the court, because there's a mention of the fact that apparently his incarceration in that cubicle this court is also aware of. I'm not so sure whether when he refers to this court, he personally refers to the court that I'm addressing now or the court is an institution, my lord. I'm just not aware of that. Okay. Mr. Valoi, is it possible is it to call uh, that the very gentleman, mm -hmm. Mr. Kabengo? Yes. Yeah? yes. My lord, <coughs> I, I, I've intimated to my learned friends that in, in light of the fact that these Concerns are being brought to our attention for the first time. I'm talking about the first and the second one that uh, we will ask the investigating team to take up this matter with the head of prison regarding the lack of, uh, um, of, of warm water. It, it is something we're not aware of. Um, as far as the conditions of um, his detention are concerned, my lord, that, was, that has been brought to the attention of the court before, but the fact that he's being held in a cubicle, it's, it's something, uh, as far as I'm aware, something new that we will yeah, also... Okay. Can you call this gentleman? Have, have, have investigated, my lord. Um, when can you call him? Um, we will ask that um, he be contacted during the course of the day, and hopefully he'll be here tomorrow. Okay, um, fine. Is that okay, Mr. Mnis? Uh, I think that would be important, Madam. Okay. My Lord, if I may also bring it to the attention of the court that the accused number five, my Lord, is also in the same prison, is also encountering the same uh, problem <coughs> of not being able to bath in the morning. As a result, he will not be able to attend court because there is no warm water there, my Lord. So, so is it still under... The jurisdiction of the same gentleman, Rabenko. Yes, my lord. Okay. Thank well, you. Hear what he says tomorrow. Uh, Emma, the, with due respect, my lord, may I suggest that I think it's only a kilometer or two away from where we sit. Mm. Probably in the meantime, I, I realize that his colleagues are here. They can try to give him a ring and find out if he's amenable to come mm. today mm. so that we attend to this matter once and for all, my lord, so that tomorrow we know that uh, the problem has already been resolved today and then we proceed today and then we continue to proceed tomorrow as well. I don't see any reason why we cannot try to find him today to come to court today, unless he has got other professional commitments, my lord. Yes, Mr. Valoui, is it possible to phone we'll, this? We'll make our best endeavors to uh, secure yeah. his attendance today, my lord. Okay, fine. All right. Is the court, my lord. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Mr. Yes, the court, please, my lord. My lord, at this stage, we will refer the court to an exhibit that was handed to the court earlier, exhibit GG1, as well as exhibit triple G2. Exhibit GG1. In this room. And exhibit two. GG2 in this room, my lord. GG1 and GG2 in this room. Bring that one back. GG. Move it. Two fights of accused number three. Ma'am, do you have the document in front of you? Yes, I do. Have you ever known a document? And then can you identify the first document or the first page? This is a, a section 205 subpoena. Okay, Lena, in what you be is a section 205. And then who was it addressed to? It was addressed to Pietro Heinecke, who's the manager of my department at yeah, Vodacom. I think you know Pietro Heinecke or the manager at Vodacom. And then what was the nature of the request? <clears throat> the nature of the request actually um, was in terms of um, attempted murder and unlicensed firearm. For a Fosloris CAS 103 <coughs> uh, 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 With a GP Joburg reference number 50 of 3 2015. And then ASH transfer here to 50 of 3, 2014. Data was requested. On cell phone number 072. Good number, Elan, and I have 072. 766. 766. 8169. For the period 23 October 2014. Uh, is cut to 23 October 2014 to 25 January 2015. We go from 25 January 2015. Thank you. And then, who was the investigating officer? By the way, why is the open lap? Constable Dlamini. Well, Constable Dlamini. And then page two. What is the station and case? This, um, <coughs> it's Fosloris CAS 103 12 2014. Right, Fosloris CAS 103 of 12 2014. And then was it signed by the prosecutor? Yes, I know. You know sure she's. Yes. What you able? Are you able to place the name of the prosecutor on record? Kamalum Shoshese. Madikona Isak Ramondo. The first name is pretty illegible, but the last two names is <coughs> Isaac Ranondo. Okay. And at the bottom of the page on the right, was it also issued by the magistrate? Yes. Okay. On which date? 5 March 2015. 5 March 2015. And then on the third page, the exhibit, <coughs> can you identify that page? This is the 205 requesting the data. Well, 205 figure, a customer start to 205 data. And then page 4. 
cussing in this, ain't it? Page four um, <coughs> indicates the CAS number together with the investigating officer's details and address. I have to keep the number of the CAS number. I have to say that it is the CAS number. And it was also signed um, by the magistrate. I have to say that it is the CAS number of the magistrate. Okay. Now let's move to proceed to exhibit triple G2. Can you recognize that document? G2 is um, my statement. Is Triple G2 a statement, the Sami? Did you sign the statement? It was signed in this statement. Yes, I have. Have you ever signed it? Was it commissioned? Yes, so, it has been. Have you ever signed commissioned? When was it commissioned? On the 10th of May, 2024. Right, Commissioner, I'm May 2024. Who was the Commissioner of us? Bradley Albert Smith. Who was Commissioner <coughs> Bradley Albert Smith? And then the first, can we proceed now to place the contents of the statement into the record? I, Pinky Rassi of Eithelingham, the undersigned state under oath. I'm an adult female employed at Vodacom in the capacity of supervisor forensic liaison services. I am a Pinky Razia Vetilingham, a Minage O Shoyolana O Otata E. Sifungo, so we take a Minamundum Dalusenza A Vodacom and Senswami Uba, who supervisor forensic liaison services. Facts herein contained are to the best of my knowledge and believe true and correct. I am making the statement knowing that if it is tendered in evidence, I will be liable to prosecution if I willfully stated anything I know to be false or which I do not believe to be true. <laughs> Vodacom is an electronic communication service provider duly licensed by the Independent Communications Authority of South Africa and operate electronic communications network. In brackets, Vodacom network throughout South Africa and some parts of Africa. Section 15 in brackets, one of the ECT Act makes reference to and governs the admissibility of data messages. Data messages is defined to mean data generated, sent, received, or stored by electronic means and includes a voice where the voice is used in an automated transaction and a stored record. It is clear that section 50 in brackets 1 governs data messages, which includes call, date, call messages, SMSs, and other information such as email, <coughs> thereafter referred to as call data related information. Okay, what I come over in company seven's out, Kumani Sang is in the one of the two like Emily's. I get data. Section 15 one of 
umtetu wa belana no gukuma na ngezimzingo uya kuluma angela pa uti ma kuluma angela ta kuluma ngano ma iku pi ogwe nzwa ogwa kwa uktu ngelwa no ogwa mgelwa ogwa mgelwa emishene yukuma na ngezimzingo la pa uge ite itake kutuwa ihamba izi hambela ungeko o i o o o o o o and if we look at section 15, one, a gumter to the Ola Ula, Uxchens is a one oak, Oxan is a name, Lias, or my SMS, a noma needs this one, a noma email, a the Hambanga, the machine, a Oma Kale cooking. Call data related information is obtained from the network event monitoring system which we call NEMO, currently housing live data of all activity on a SIM card or handset routed through the Vodacom network. Since this information is only retained for a period of three years, data requested for a time period preceding this cannot be retrieved from the system. Once Vodacom receives a request to access and supply an extract of call data, related information from a law enforcement agency, this extract is permanently electronically archived. Call data, call data related information is generated in a PDF format, stored and communicated by the service and cannot be altered, manipulated or tampered with by anyone while on the servers. The manner in which the integrity of the call data is maintained is considered reliable and contemplated in section 50 of 3 of the Act. events monitoring system and for the communication information, the information is that the file PDF. Still, the file is that and the file is that the file is that the file is that the file in the lag of ones, I would take a a section fifteen three, Nemo adheres to the security requirements stipulated in Vodacom's security policy and procedures. A firewall is in place to separate Nemo from the Vodacom network with only the necessary ports open to communication. Access to NEMO is controlled via a secure <coughs> APN, limiting access to specific <coughs> authorized users only. All access to NEMO is logged and a full audit trail of all operations performed by any authorized user stored. To ensure data integrity and completeness, file and record level checking with full auditing is done. Automated system alerts are also in place to monitor system processes and distribute notifications to, to authorized personnel where intervention is required. All system processes are further monitored through daily operational checks. So, you know, for in the moyana, a Gukonaga in the big wing, I would take if you get a good to get Gukona, the Miango, Lena, every Bella, Abanga, now inform you, Gutibang and a good name, a Gungan, a Pella Lava, Abanim, who may go to Bangan, and we on Gana Lapogunim, who figure Lena Logot to APN, Elsa, Ugoti, Abangan, I, Bangan, Uma Pella, Benigo, Infume, Gutibang. And if we get Ungena Gunimo, Gonga Gapadwa, Uguzega, Onga Nai, Wazu, Utunga Nile, Wapi, Pinda Futra figure wins and the Langa party Gunim, 
and footy a gonk and look at the nobles and mark dinger and gumbos cut to Gutolan. We should corner again the lag is corner section soil, so good to Zam Gutting as a zongi cut to win and be waiting your dry cars. I would quen the gain, good lagulo machine, and the footy quen the gain, Nin Magulo Sachens. I am responsible for inter alia the supply of information and call data on the Vodacom network pursuant to requests received from the South African police, law enforcement agencies, and other institutions. This certifies that Vodacom has received a subpoena in terms of Section 205-1 of the Criminal Procedure Act, Act 51 of 1977, from SAPS with GP Joburg 5003-2015, Fosloris Kaz, 103-12-2014 from Constable Dlamini. It pertains to 072-766-8169. So, Lanai, I am saying so I am going to long ago was all the way I am going to talk to you about and Futige Nabanyege are by name for me with Banga, new one or Duluaz about Dingai. Logo, good need letters, Pensa or so good to watch all of a lace up in a Pansa section two or five and a Pansa criminal procedure act number fifty one ninety seventy seven. A Vela Gusaps, a Guhamsa and a Kalau GP JHP fifty zero three twenty fifteen, a first case one zero three of twelve twenty fifteen. Local get well letter or constable Zamin. Okay, I want to show you an extract from Exhibit O One, page forty one. Exhibit O One, O One, indeed, so my light. It's an affidavit by Kenneth Stein. Oh, I see. Page forty one. The number that you just placed on record. On your affidavit, does it correspond with the number that I have just highlighted on page 41? Yes, it does. Okay, I have the number. This is your Hamsana, the number of the page 41, not the only number. And then the name that is appearing on exhibit 01, can you please on record? Ntobisi Gardia Nkube. Thank you. Then you can proceed to get your affidavit. The following extract was prepared. A list of MOC made from the SIM card, which is outgoing calls. A list of MTC which is incoming calls, a list of all calls made and received by the SIM card, the location of the persons when making and receiving the calls, a list of incoming and outgoing SMS transactions, voicemail transactions, in the case where the mobile station was not available, GPRS data, subscriber registration details, as well as a um, MSISDN profile. Call data supplied for within the requested period, exhib exhibiting communication between parties. Enclosed is the MSISDN profile, reflecting the dates used on the Vodacom network. Contents of SMSs and WhatsApp messages do not reflect on the set of data. WhatsApp communication is stored under GPRS data. No distinction is made between calls and messages. Okay, 
izingingo ezingenile nezingingo eziphumile nazo zonke izingingo ezikhona ukuthi wayelapha lo muntu wayenza ucingo isikhathi eshaya futhi ke nokuthi ke oma SMS angenile naphumile angaka nani and kunokuthi uh, kunama message amangaki ama voice message ne ne GPRS data futhi ke ne subscriber registration na MSIS MSI MSISDN yeah MSISDN futhi ke kuchazayo ukuthi kukhunyile unyoe kangakanani phakathi kwabantu and nokuthi ke in kwenzwa ngaziphi insuku and nokuthi ke kwaku kunama message ke e WhatsApp ne ne nama SMS ukuthi awabonakali ngoba wona ahlala ngaphansi kwe GPRS kodwa ke futhi ke kuthiwa um what is the last one no GPRS yes subscriber registration and MSISDN profile Tuwa ga wako ga macho jipa RS ne subscriber information profile o zang tula ga da loko Gutuwa ga kol data ga ya le tuwa ga leso ga le doso skati ga yako biso kum kulu ma paka tukwa bantu Iko na gela gu lumbi golena kaza guti ke iskati ne inzo go e zase zase chuswani ni ngapansi ke we zingu mzose voda kom ende futi la fa nguti ke kuaba na msa ms amanga gi na mauta pa manga gi. Gotwa ke laoge awabonagala awabonagali kwi data ne WhatsApp communication yona kituwa ikdeno ngapansi kwe GPRS na kume shugo para tukwa makoli ni milayo so etu nye. Okay, then gives you the cell phone number again, which is 072. Let I put in the cell phone number again, 072. 766. 766. 8169. 8169. It then says data was requested from 23 October to 2014 to 25 January 2015. The relevant printout is here to annex and constitutes a data message in terms of Section 15 of the Act. The information that appears on said printouts reflects electronic representations described as data in the Act it also represents data generated, sent, received, or stored by electronic means, and or stored record as contemplated in the definition of data message in the Act. Section <laughs> Thank you. I see on the bottom right there's a case ID. Can you place it on record? Case ID five double seven nine three zero. Uh, try case ID five double seven nine three zero. And the next uh, that is annexed there too. Does it have a case ID? Yes. 
Can you please case ID on record? It's the same case ID five double seven nine three zero. Sister Sisaloga is corner up Sinayo Sinale case number Epa de five double seven nine three zero. Can we proceed now to the annexure? What is the first page of the annexure? The first page, which is on page six, is the handset profile. The handset profile. Okay. The yes. Before we, 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 we deal with the annexure, can you deal with the terminology that is also attached into your statement in paragraph nine? <clears throat> Do you want me to read all of it? Oh, yes. Okay. Maybe you can read uh, 10 and then So the explanation is on page 3. Um, we start at the top with the hash. 31 hash, which is a, nub, a number hiding or to hide your number. Star 100 hash is balance checks for prepaid subscribers. Star 111 hash is my phone. Star 111, star 500 hash, data bundle balance inquiry. Star 111, star 502 hash comprehensive balance inquiry, star 120 star, premium rated WASP applications, star 130 star, zero rated for financial institutions, star 140 star, please call me services, 100 is recharges, 110 customer a direct, sorry, my mistake, 110 direct inquiries, triple one customer care, double one two emergency services, double one three electronic recharges, double one four customer care, one two one voicemail, AMA, AMA is automatic message accounting which is, in other words is incoming and outgoing call data. APP protocol identifies the type of internet traffic, identifying things like apps, browsing, DNS connects. BWKS is a broad soft or broad works platform generates CDR. Um, CDR refers to call data records. Events for OneNet business, VB VoIP, OneNet Express, and office telephony call data. Bytes, download link, the volume or quantity of data measured in bytes that was downloaded to the user's device from the server. Bytes uplink, the volume of quantity of data, measured in bytes as well, of data that was uploaded from the user's device to the server. Call date refers to the date the calls were received or made. Call time refers to the time the calls were received or made. Cell ID refers to the base station code. Cell name refers to the base station when re receiving and making calls. CF, call forwarding. This means the cell phone was not answered and the call went through to voicemail. Or the phone was switched off and the call was directed to voicemail 
or the phone was diverted. Should I go on? Converse, a voicemail, one in brackets, one to one, initiate call to another subscriber using the Converse platform. Duration refers to the seconds of re receiving or making the calls. ECI, Earth Centered Inertial. The u cell identification, which is used to identify a call uniquely within a public land mobile network, which in brackets is PLMN, EUTRAN, is the air interface of 3GPP's long-term evolution in brackets LTE, Upgrade path for mobile networks. It is the abbreviation for evolved UMTS, terrestrial radio access, also referred to as 3GPP work item on LTE. GPRS is general packet radio system. It's internet data connection stream. HTTP is hypertext transfer pro protocol. HTTP content type is the type of content that was rendered, that is image, text, or tags. HTTP host is the host server that served the web element. HTTP URL is the unique website address that was visited by the subscriber. A uniform resource locator is a specific character string that constitutes a reference to the resource. ICCID, <clears throat> International Chip Card ID. This is basically the serial number of the SIM card. The IMEI, is the International Mobile Equipment Identity. This refers to the unique serial number of the handset of which Vodacom only uses the first 14 digits to identify that handset. In order to see your IMEI, you can dial hash 06 hash from a handset on the Vodacom network to receive the handset serial number. IMSI, International Mobile Subscriber Identity. It's an electronically allocated serial number of a SIM card. IP is Internet Protocol. IVR is Interactive Voice Response. An example is welcome to directory inquiries and you are number 10 or 56 in the queue. LAT refers to latitude. It's a measure of a, loca a location's distance north or south of the equator expressed in degrees. Longitude is a measure of locations distances east or west of the prime meridian expressed in degrees as well. MMS is a multi-messaging service. MOC, mobile originating call, which is in other words an outgoing call. MOSMS is a short message service originating, in other words, an outgoing SMS. MSISDN refers to the mobile subscriber integrated services digital network. This is the SIM, SIM card number as an example is either 082 0872. MTC is mobile terminated call, which refers to an incoming call. 
MTSMS refers to a short message service terminating, in other words, incoming SMSs. Other party is the number of the other party when making or receiving a call. PCM is pl please call me services. PDP is a packet data protocol. P2P protocol is peer-to-peer -peer protocol identifies the classification of traffic based on the packet inspections. PIN, that's your personal identification number. PUC is your personal unblocking key. Server IP address is the unique internet protocol address of the server until that responded with the web element. SS activation, that's a supplementary service activation. SSD activation is a supplementary service deactivation. SS interrogation is used by a sub subscriber to check settings, example, clip, call forward, forwarding, settings, etc. SS registration is a supplementary service for registration. Subscriber IP address. The unique internet protocol address of the, subs of the subscriber that downloaded the web elements. A numerical label assigned to each device participating in a computer network that uses the internet protocol for communication. Tap in is roaming on a foreign network. Tap out is a foreign subscriber utilizing the Vodacom network data services. Third party is when party A calls party B, generating a MOC, party B's phone has an automatic call forwarding to another number, generating a CF. The call forwarding will have a MOC party B and it's party A, there will be a new party B, the call forward number and the original caller in brackets party A of the MOC will be in the third party. Total duration is based on the session determined by the network platform. Evolution. It continues on the next page. Hash three hash. Uh, oh, it's actually duplicated. It's a number hiding. Traffic type audio or video identifier for common apps. Example, WhatsApps. USSD is an unstructured supplementary service data, interactive network function, example star 140 star 082, which identifies or means a please call me. Um, UTRAN, I will explain again, is a collection, collective item for the for the node Bs and radio network control, controllers, 
which make up the UMTS radio access network, this communication network commonly referred to as 3G. VoIP is a voice over internet protocol called data. VALTI is voice over long-term evolution. Web is web enhanced data record and Wi-Fi is local area wireless technology. Kubegilo Pambino Casa, Amani Amakama Beg Wedding Ikasi, uh Amakamu Tepesha Sit in Swayo, uh Uma Network Amasedu. Now let's proceed to the next chart on page six. On page six, we have the handset usage. Okay, I can see this to pick up on our logo to a low macro color cooking a bar PR bar sequences for zero seven two. A number there, can I go zero seven two seven double six seven double six eight one six nine eight one six nine. And then this extract, which stream is it from? Um, the page six is from the AMA stream. And then the second last column, it says handset model. Can you elaborate that? Second last column. Yes. Handset mobile, that refers to uh, the make and the model of the handset. And then the third line from the bottom. The date is 19 August 2014. Can you place that information on record? The third line from the bottom um, gives us the IMEI number, which is 3589-8605-839543 with MZ number six double five zero one double two four nine one five one three seven three. The start date was nineteenth August twenty fourteen at twenty one forty oh seven. End date was nineteenth August two thousand and fourteen at 22.09, 22 seconds. There were nine uh, successful activities. It is a prepaid number and it's a Nokia 105 um, handset. Which were the Paguna Moka, Kukaza, or what you call the section, so Mopi Umakale Kukweni. So, Pinda, we can't say no number. I can't remember who could know what we need. Pinda, it can't say footy again. No goodie. We are going to miss that. Nineteen August 2014. It's got to scratch into 147. We are going to miss that. Nineteen August 2014. It's got to say the figure. La pagu 2209. 22 seconds. We are going to go to. We are going to is cut is done as never this shaka lo looing and no good to get if only get a section this a lap of what we know here 105 the next column <clears throat> the next column is the same msisdn 
with a different IME I, which is 3567-2305-064428. The MZ number remains the same, 6550-12249. One five one three seven three. That date is from the seventeenth of September two thousand and fourteen. Twenty one o five forty six seconds. The end date is seventeen o nine two thousand and fourteen. Twenty one forty four o four seconds. Seven successful activities. A prepaid number. As well and a Nokia 306 Usher was the handset. Good to have you been able to go to the number go to the seven and get any I mean number. I mean number be searching so much of a good three five six seven two three zero five zero Six double four two eight. Go to get Imzi and a Gabon Alu to say Yona Leanga Pambidin. Oh, six five five zero one two two four nine one five three seven three. Talk of seventeen September twenty fourteen. Scatuwa twenty one oh five forty six. And uh, Futiga Ukri Nage, what they call seventeen oh nine twenty four. Is cut to go to one oh four oh four and the two Gabonagara would go out into an is cut as is Sukumbisa who suggests this are a prepaid. A Makarakuku no go or such and sort of go in Nokia three oh six. The last entry. The last entry, the MSISDN remains the same. <coughs> The IME I number has changed <clears throat> to 3597-9605-029790. The MZ number remains the same. This was used from the 19th of September 2014 at 2032.58, ended on 4th March 2015, 1746.57 seconds. There were 6,656 successful transactions, 80 failed transactions, still a prepaid number, and the handset used was a Samsung GTE 2220. Texto. Two, what? Triple two zero text. Which are a lapa, Umshagam nineteen September. We go for Umshagam four. Umash. 2015. Go to a lapa, Imzi, I Safano, a was good, but was a common. A mushumi eye, see Shaka Lumbe, the Gona, Bazanga, but was good to back to my gay work surgeon, so I prepaid and footy get up a work surgeon, so I phone a with Samsung, GTE three 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 zero. And then on page seven. On page seven, the MSISDN remains the same. The IMEI number has changed to 3524-2605-76. Okay. I shall repeat the IMEI number. 3524-2605-76.
zero five seven six nine one nine seven. MZ remains the same. Start date, 14 November 2014. 11, 2947. Ends on 12 January 2015 at 12.05, 12 seconds. 141 successes, two failed, prepaid number, handset use was the Nokia X2-01. Sorry, the program from 14 November 2014, Figure on Sarah 12th, January 2015. Sarah 14th, uh, November, is cut to go 11, 29, 47. Figure on 12th, January 2015, is cut to go 12, 05, um, uh, 12 seconds. To again, I am the number, what we say, ye or leo. What do I mean, number is, it's three five two four two six six five seven six nine a imzige kwa kuse yona le ya ezwa. Tuwa ke ama kola kwa zukuti ba kwa zukuti kumane kwa ama kola ayi kolo na mashuma mane na inye. Ende ama bili ke kwa ezu lega. Kwa kusachi nsachi nsua i prepaid. Ihe nsachi kwa kusachi nsua 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 The following entry, MSISDN remains the same. IME I number has changed to 3586 MZ remains the same. Start date is 25 November 2014. Time 1622.49 seconds. Ends at 30 November 2014. At 09.04.28 seconds. There were 95 successful activities and zero failed. It remains a prepaid number and has been used with a Nokia 1616. So, in the local land, the IOG, I must say, is a year, is a fan, a MC, is a fan, I may actually like a man, so good, three five eight six, three four zero four eight five two eight five six. Welcome, Sarah, 25 good November 2014, and it's got 1642 29 seconds. Good November 2014, it's got 090428. It's got a Guabana Macol, I'm Mashuma, I'm Shaka Doloni, Nantano, I was with a seven, but I got bang again a call, and I was with the end, I was on with the end La poge kwa kusachin nswa yonage i prepaid i umakalo kukuna wa sachin nswa kwa Nokia 1616. The last entry, the MSISDN remains the same. The IMEI has however changed again. The number is 3567-2305. 562396. The MZ remains the same. The start date is 7 December 2014 at 13.49, 24 seconds. Ends on 9th December 2014 at 0519, 20 seconds. There were eight, 18 successes, zero failed, remains a prepaid number, 
and a Nokia 306 Asho was used. Victoria, I'm going to go to the IMSD. AIMS ISDN is a funny IMA six three five six seven two three zero five five six two three nine six to IMSNI is a fun uh one um share seven with December twenty fourteen. Lapoya is catching thirteen forty nine twenty four uh your pella your kina um share nine go December twenty fourteen is catching zero five nineteen and twenty second to one amakola e I am calling And a prepared Okay. Now, in a simple language, when you say the I, I mean number changes and the IMC number remain unchanged, what do you mean? It means that um, the same SIM card was um, inserted into different or numerous other handsets. When you make a multi-IM number, EIMS ITN exchange, you got a IMZ EIM number. You exchange your two cards with Tinige and Gamma for particular car. We should take a good Kishwa SIM card. From where we started, are you able to count how many devices were used? Five. Thank you. And then are you able to tell the usage of each device from the start date to the end date? How long was each device used? On the first two on page six, the was fairly less usage, which was nine and seven respectively, as successors. Thereafter, the last entry on page six, um, the period was much longer, and there were over 6,000 successful activities. Moving on to page seven, for the time period, there was between November and January, only 141 successes with two failures. Um, this uh, middle entry, f looking at the period that started November and ended five days later, 95 entries, which was also busy. The last entry, um, December, 7 to 9th in a matter of two days, 18 activities which were successful. So they were fairly busy. Well, I got one of the good time, I've been my task in bed and over. Turning a sick lady, we have one of the good to go up and no is shaka lulu in a footing of pinna but comana is catches is combisa. What I'm saying is that I'm not a petrol and 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 I'm not uh, and then now on the on page six, the <coughs> last entry, can you estimate in terms of month the usage of that handset? So that was a period of seven months. I tell you, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask
Zinyanga is his combis. Now let's move to the GP RS stream on page seven. After so, so like a la pia utlech PRS Google a casino number seven. But with the usage on the 18th of June 2014. Under the GPRS data, <clears throat> we find that the MSISDN remains the same. So I'm passing with GPRS data. I'm sure they didn't go June 2014. You can look at MSISDN. The IMEI number reflecting there is 3519 yeah, I I, 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 the IMSI remains the same the IMSI is 6550 6550-1224 151 373 373 the date is 13 june 2014 time 1937 15 seconds 19 37 15 seconds it's end date is 29 july yeah, can I am twenty nine of July two thousand and fourteen two thousand and fourteen seventeen oh five twenty three seconds. Yes, Kate Ogo seventeen oh five no twenty three seconds. Nine successes. Kunyana is is Kate is Shaka Lulu. Can you explain this nine successes? What is it exactly? Um, GPRS is internet usage. And the Makulia and which Jepar SUTS and you search Kulia and which works in the same internet. Zero failures. I go call Lapo Ogwa Inga was on Kumako Kumana corner. Prepaid number. A prepaid number, a corner. A Nokia triple one was used. Well, sections are in Nokia triple one. Next one. Next one. Page eight. MSISDN remains the same. To MSISDN is say yon I I could go ganga. The IMEI number is three five six seven. The IMEI in three five six seven. Two three zero five. Two three zero five. Zero six double four. Zero six double four. Two eight. Two eight. No changes to the MZ. A MZ na izange ikukoga. Start date is 1709, 2014. Uh, September 2014. Time 2059-53 seconds. Uh, Ending time is 1610, 2014. Is in Yangeni, October 2014. 202939 seconds was the time. It's Katio 202939. And Zuzana. it remains a prepaid number. Sasha Jinsai prepaid 40. Nokia 306 Asha used. Kwasa Jinsaga in Nokia 306 Asha. Thereafter. Mbogalok. The IMEI number changes again. The yeah, IMEI change. 3597. 3597. 9605. 9605. 0297. 0297. 90. 90. MC remains the same. EMC is a Start date is 1909-2014. Start time is 1959-02. End time is 01-2014. 
2015. March 2015. Time ends at 10.23, 10 seconds. Uh, 10.23, 10 seconds. Uh, show me. Successes is 1430. 1430. 1430. No a Samsung GTE triple two zero texto was used. What session saga was available? Samsung GTE texto. The following entry. Is Katis Landelay okay? MSISDN remains the same. MSISDN I Kukuranga. IME I number changes to three five two four. Yeah, I mean, I remember, yeah, she enjoyed it, 3524. 2605. 2605. 7691. 7691. 97. 97. No changes to the IMZ. Yeah, IMZ, Eleven twenty two twenty eight seconds. Eleven twenty two twenty eight Zona. Ends at twelve oh one two thousand and fifteen. Twelve oh one. Twenty fifteen. Yes. Uh, but you were going to twelve January twenty fifteen. At twelve thirty one forty four seconds. Uh, twelve thirty one forty four. Zona. Remains a prepaid number. Now, can access it inside a prepaid? Fifty-one successes. Bagwa zukumane is katiga zamashuma mashano na nye. Zero failures. Ago kola bethi la kumana. Nokia X2-01 used. Access it inside la pa Nokia X2-01. The last entry. Yuko nage. The IMEI number has changed. The yeah, IMEI number is 3567. You see, 3567. 2305. 2305. 5623. 5623. 5623. 5623. Imzi remains the same. Imzi is a Yona. It remains to be a prepaid number. Say, Surgeon Safuti prepaid. Used from 7 December 2014. Is Kaleok Surgeon Safuti 7 December 2014? 1351, 15 seconds. Is Kaleok 1351, how many seconds? 15 seconds. Name is Zana 15. Ends 8 December 2014. Pelayom Shah 8 December 2014. Fourteen. Time sixteen thirty one forty four seconds. Is Katiro sixteen thirty one forty four. The handset used was the Nokia three oh six Asha. In Makaru Kukino sessions, so go in Nokia three oh six Asha. My Lord, I will request that we take this short adjournment at this stage, just to allow the witness time also to relax. Fifteen minutes. Okay, fifteen minutes. All rise in court. Aremeleng Sumale. Yes. Yes, sir. Please, my Lord. Ma'am, just lastly on this aspect, can you tell how many devices that were utilized on the GPRS stream? The approach I have is to go to the section and say, Oh, my God, what are
Now, let's proceed to page eight. Of the annexure. Can you identify what is appearing on this page? Page eight identifies the call data for AMA usage. What is AMA? It's incoming and outgoing calls. Sorry, la pag buga bana ala ubu tige e kasi ne le se shakalom be le kunsai izinzunga zange na ne zapu. And then the cell phone number? 072 766 8169. 072 766 8169. And then the results on the stream how many calls are going and incoming? There were 5,000. 142 results for the stream. So does this number reflect outgoing calls, incoming calls, outgoing SMSs, incoming SMSs, and as well as call forwards? Yes. Start now on the transactions of the 26th of October 2014. <clears throat> it's on page 11. The first transaction on that day, can you place it on record? Transaction actually reflects on page 10 for the 26th of October towards the bottom of the page. Okay, yes. At at 7:12:56 on the 26th of October, you would see that the number ending. 8169 received a, a SMS. <coughs> so I'm October 2014, in 7, uh, 1256, we should number 8169, SMS. That is a duration of zero. <coughs> we cannot see that the other party number. <laughs> And the tower that was picked up was Hold Street. And the tower that was picked up was Hold Street. Thereafter, at 7:28:16 seconds. We started at 7:28:16 seconds. On the same date. An outgoing call was made from the number ending 8169. It lasted 82 seconds. It was made to the number ending 8570. Number 
And the towel picked up was Moist Street. Mind you, it's a towel here, such as Salapogogu in Moist Street. Thereafter, still on the same date. Gala, no, 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 so go. At 9.17.31 seconds. Eh, it's got to go with 9.17.31 seconds. The number ending 8169 received a call from number ending 0681. And they are told again, what's the number again? 0681. And Moist Street was picked up again. At 93127 seconds. And 931 second. An outgoing call was made to the number ending. Yeah, can I get open with our shower again? We are able to number the Lena. Double six seven six. Yeah, people are with double six seven six. That call lasted two hundred and sixty six seconds. Yeah, go by Miss Susanna Gama, Kulu Ama Billy, Nestopa. Okay, let's pause there and just zoom in to this transaction. On the 26th of October, 2014, at 13.49 and 49 seconds. That's on page 11. <clears throat> at 13.49, 49 seconds. It's got to go with 13.49. Name is Susanna, eh, Mashumamane, Nesheka Dolonye. An outgoing call was Co made to the number ending 5787. That call lasted for 47 seconds. And the towel picked up there was Phosphorus. The tower again is in Salapoka with Phosphorus. Yes, and then now I want, to, want you to look at the extract from the affidavit of Lieutenant Colonel Hose. Lieutenant Colonel Hose. Can you identify the number? Yes, I can. It's on page 11. Who is it associated with? Fiso Kule Ntuli. Fiso Fiso Kule Ntuli. The affidavit of Kenel House is Exhibit DD5B. In page 2. Yes. Did you place the tower location on record as well? Uh, first Lotus. Uh, tower guys said you saw La Lotus. Sorry, what time was it, by the way? 13, 49, 49 seconds. 13. 49, 49 seconds. Okay. You called some other number. The one you say it ends with 787. Just, just repeat it again. So the number ending 8169 it made a call to 072. Three double 
and then 26 October 2014 at 1420 and 21 MTC. So I'm um, 26 October 2014, Scotty Good, 1420, 21, Mrs. Zwana. You can't go so the number ending 8169 received a call which lasted 11 seconds. And that number that called is 071 507 Three and Phosphorus was picked up as the tower. A target section. So go with Phosphorus. Now I'm showing, my lord, I'm moving to exhibit S annex C. It is there on the screen. Index number 197. Are you able to see what's on the screen? No. Can you, you can go yeah. to the screen. Here's the hard copy that exhibit as well. Index number 197, where I highlighted in yellow. Yes. Is that the same number that the number ending with 169 made communication with? That is correct, yes. Okay, the number we have for index 197, can you place that entry on record as per annexure S C? Yes, that document. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. You can stand there. Okay. It's the same information. Index one nine seven name Nkani. Telephone number 071-507-3517. So again, okay, index 197, you come on, Kani. In number, you can go 071-507-3517. Storage, USAM. So again, you can go with USAM. Just to go back a little bit, um, the call at 1849 and 49. 13, 48, 44, and 13, 49, 49. There were two outgoing calls <coughs> from the number ending 8169 to the number ending Five seven eight seven. So I'm going thirteen forty eight forty four. No, no, it's cut, it's cut thirteen forty nine and forty nine. Can I get a looking or up? Whom I get a number in late and eight one six nine. I get a good number eight and go. Is it eight five? At eight thirteen forty eight forty four, the number 
called the number ending 9057. Uh, 9057. And 1349.49, it was an outgoing call to number five, ending 5787. So I'm going to 1349.49, I'm Nine five seven eight seven. Yeah, seven at the end. To a number I nine five seven eight seven. Yes, that number is the focal point. Now let's go to exhibit <coughs> S and extra C. Index number nine. Index number nine. <coughs> I see it. Yes. Index number nine, name Mfoka Kumalo. Toga Ikama Ella Pagu index number nine, Mfoka Kuma. Telephone zero seven two. If only I can zero seven two. Three double nine. Three double nine. Five seven eight seven. Five seven eight seven. <laughs> And then now let's proceed to fifteen nineteen. Fifteen nineteen thirty two seconds on the twenty sixth of October. The number ending eight one six nine made an outgoing call to the number ending 5787. It lasted 65 seconds, and the Fossleris Tower was picked up. Uh, 15, uh, 1932 seconds, on October. In number eight, but I'll out in Gwenny, in Mizuzo, in Zuzuana, ea, my shimmy ice, two pan and tano, go cunyana, gay tower as a first loras. Yes. And the entry just above that one of 118 seconds at 15.15.05. At 15.15.05, the number ending 8169 received a call from the number ending 0821, which lasted 118 seconds. Which we are again, it's got 15, 15, 05. The number eight, eight, one, six, nine. Yeah, to allow to go to the number eight, nine, go zero, eight, two, one. And the Basalaga, Imizuzana, a equal Namashum, Neshumina, Neshakalum, Billy. Tower picked up was first loaders. Tower, guys, settings is a go with first loaders. Now I want to show you an extract from Exhibit O. One of the affidavits of Colonel Stain, my lord, where it's written Mabungu Ntuli in the document. It's highlighted in orange. Yes. Can you place that number on record? Zero seven nine. One four nine zero eight two one. To our lapoge, we go by Colonel Hosi. Governor looked corner in the number, Lena, and at the palace, and we map on the duly. To our lapoge, number your corner, who zero seven nine one four nine zero eight twenty one. Is that the same number that received a or there was an MOC of forty seven seconds? Zero 
The number ending 0821 was the transaction of the 118 seconds. So the number is 0821. You know, 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 you as well as the 42nd seconds at 1429. Is it the same number now that was identified as the one belonging to Mabungunduli? That's correct, yes. <clears throat> Now let's proceed to 1831 and 16. 1831. On the 26th, <clears throat> the number ending 8169 received a call at 1831 16 seconds from the number ending. Five seven eight seven. The call lasted eighty-nine seconds. And the tower that was picked up was Wall Hunter. Two again. Wall twenty-six. Go October again. Uh, in number eight one uh, the number eight to five, eight, no, five, eight, five, seven, eight, seven, and uh, it's cut to go eighteen thirty one sixteen. Pasala in Mizuana, a marsh, my and the shaker lulunya, and it all a certain swagger up a wolf or hunter. Correction, it's wall hooter, not hunter. To a gallery, so that I get on you, wall hunter, you wall hooter. Yes, before that. At seventeen thirty nine and eighty six. Seventeen thirty nine thirty six. The number ending eight one six nine received a call from the number ending O eight two one, which lasted twenty one seconds. And the towel picked up there was Ben Rose. Two hundred and sixty-nine, thirty-six seconds. The number eight hundred and eighty-one, sixty-nine. The number eight hundred and zero eight two one. What shall I call him? Zuzana. Eh, I'm sure Mama Billy Nanya. It's how many people are going to come and go with Ben Rose? Twenty seconds. Two hundred and sixty-nine, thirty-six seconds. The number eight hundred and zero eight. At 18.20 on the same date, the number ending 8169 received a call from the number ending 0821. It lasted 24 seconds, and the towel picked up there was Jeppy. To again, discuss 1820, the number 8169, you are telling me the number 0821. Hello, Professor. I call him Zuzana. I'm a shuma ma bili nanye, and he talks about such and such. Okay. Just there, my lord. I'm going to refer the witness to Exhibit Triple J Seven, Map Four and Map Five. Do you have a copy of such a map? Yes. It says Triple J. Yes, yeah, Seven. Mm -hmm. Annexure Seven. Two maps. The one I have, it's simple G1. That's what to be G7. And it says map 5 and map 4. Maybe it's the handwriting, it's supposed to be G7. That's a better thing. Hello, Bruce. That's what I have. Yes, that's what I have. <laughs> uh, 
there is the exhibit, my lord. So it's G triple J seven. That's correct. Okay, fine. Yes. Um, can you take the court through the map, if you are able to? Um, this map actually requests tower location and um, approximate distance. The map will be in the petrol lap. Is that my house? Come be so good to my tower. I will be no good to get a mabanga and gagana. It is um, between Ben Rose uh, Tower. Eh, bona e party go Ben Rose Tower. And George Koch Men's Hostel. Eh, no go tige u suga da pa uge George Koch Hostel ibangili nga na. It reflects 463 meters. Yako misa na no go tige ibanga amamita o 406. Sixty-three. Okay, no, I bang a a mammita of four hundred and sixty-three, not our four hundred and six. Which map are you looking at? Four. Yes. Uh, what num map number four? Yes. How many pages do you have there? Two. Two pages. Where is number one and two? Mr. Sban. You don't have... No. They're not exhibited at this stage, my lord. So, why, why do you say map number four? And I can't see map number one. Map number five. My Lord, we, we, we left out the other maps as irrelevant, and then we only use focus on map four and five. Okay, fine. We, we received five maps, but we only use, we're going to use four and five. Okay. I'm not sure if the map that I'm showing on the screen is visible to the accused persons. Yes, at 1739. Yes. It picks up a tower at Ben Rose. Yes, at 1739, it comes tower at Ben Rose. That's correct. It's here, Wogan John. Accused number five through his advocate told this court that around about that time, accused number three and number five, they were at the vicinity of Judge Koch Hostel. Does this tower location reflect that um, version? Yes, it's in the vicinity of the hostel. So I'm so like I'm so um many I'm so less than you. Oh, actually, then can't do no good thing. I'm so less than you. Less than you. Eh, Ganesha Scotty, babe, set two set. Ne, ne hostel is set church. Go, what you have done? Okay, just to seek further clarity. Is it? The cell phone picking up location there, or it is the human being? It is the cell phone that is picking up this tower. Okay, I again, no more to come on another tower. Is cell phone.
Okay. Let's move to the next page. Okay. This is page 12. Yes. <coughs> no, no, West on the 26th of October. Sorry, let's go back to the previous page. Please repeat. Twenty, thirty-two, and fifty-seven. On the twenty-sixth of October, two thousand and fourteen, at twenty, thirty-two, fifty-seven seconds, an SMS was received, and the tower that was picked up there was Hout Street. It was 26 October 2014. It's called 2032-57. Mrs. Zwana. SMS It's called Hout Street. And then in relation to the map, are you able to locate that particular street? On map four. Yes. Um, no. I don't okay. see it here. Oh, it's not on map number four. Okay, let's proceed. Whilst you are on this time, I want us to quickly refer now to the GPRS dream around this time. When you say around this time, are you saying it's 2032? That's correct, my lord. Okay. Do you want me to have a look at the data on the GPS? Yes. Okay. Please bear with me, there's a lot of data to go through. Page. Which page we are, are looking at page uh, 114. That's the first page of GPRS data for the 26th, towards the middle of the page. And we're looking for time 20. 32. So the, on this one, um, 26th October 2014. The last entry for the GPRS data is 1852. 
is uh, that was internet usage and Alexander Park was picked up as the tower we try that time 26 uh, in October 2014, and the PDP address. PDP 41.29.53.180. Uh, The last number, three numbers? Dot, dot 180. Uh, PDP number, uh, 41.29.53.180. Uh, and the volume in bytes? 440. So I get volume, I 480. And then let's go back to the AMA data. Any other activities on the 26th of October beyond 2032? No, that was the last activity. Are you able to tell this code if the phone or the handset at that time beyond 2032 and 57 stayed on the Vodacom network or not? Uh, no, for, it looks like for a period of for about eight hours there were no activities. Uh, the next activity was only on the 27th of October, round about 8, 08, 08, 17 seconds. <laughs> okay. And then during that time, was the phone ever switched off? There's no activity re reflecting, so it could be off, or it could have just not been in use during that time. Uh, so let me get this right. If the subscriber does not make a call or he does not receive a call during that time, it will not show anything. That's correct. And then go back now to the GPRS data as well. If the user or the subscriber does not go to the internet, it will not show any activities. Correct. Okay. I want us now then to zoom into the last activity, which is the SMS. And let's try to be precise. From the SMS to the first activity on the AMA data the following day. Let's count how many hours to be precise. 
12 hours difference. Ta eh umeshogola po amahora a 12. That is on the amako ama data. Yes. So we lapo kuna ama data and on the GPRS data. So it's more or less the same, 12 hours. So I get put in each part of state, I get one out of which I, but so I think, yeah, linga, and I would say, I'm a horror, I shouldn't have been. Is it the request the state to work with us to specifically refer the patient to which is quoting those MIR data and the GPRS, otherwise we missing him? Oh, he's missing. <coughs> on the Emma data, we're on page 11 of 184. And the GPRS data, we are on page 114 of Then the tower location of the last activity on the 26th of October 2014, you said it was Cold Street SGS2. Correct. So, yeah, we want to know if it has such and some, 26, where Cold Street SGS2. And then on the GPRS data, the tower? The tower was Alexander Park, SGS3. So I got a tower section, so I got with Alexander SGS3, um, section, so I GPRS. The time? Scotty? 1852, 30 seconds. So I got to 1852. Now let's move to the next date. On the AMA data. The first activity recorded. On the next date, on the so on page 11. On the AMA data is the 27th of October 2014 at 0808.17. The number ending 8169 received a call from the number ending 0728, which lasted 66 seconds. And the tower that was picked up there was Moy Street. So, I'm going to pass with my data. I'm um, sure 27, go October 2014. This category was 080817. You inform the act, you know, go 8169. Yeah, I told you, I'm going to go 0728. And the guy, I'm going to go to the machine, I'm going to go to the machine, I'm going to go to the I want to refer you now to Exhibit S and Exhibit C on page 11. Exhibit S on page 11. In this number 16. Index number 16, name. Okay, let's confirm the number before we get to the name. Is it the correct, same number that there was a transaction with? That is correct, yes. So, the uh, index is in the number of the number ends on the transaction. Then read it into the record, the number. 082. The number is 082. 255. 255. Storage SIM 
and the name is Ugezekile. Okay, now let's proceed to page 114, the GPRS stream. The first activity recorded on the 27th of October 2014. Activity is on the 27th at 06.52.30. The tower that was picked up there was Moy Street. Uh, and the volume in bytes? Six double one six five seven one. So, if volume of the power six double one six five seven one. And this volume in bytes is in kilobytes, correct? It starts off with the smallest, yes. Are you able to quantify it into megabytes? Not at this stage, no. We'll get back to that. Let's go back to the AMA data. And then the second activity on the 27th of October 2014. That was at 08.23, 59 seconds. The number ending 8169 received a call from the number ending 5095, and Moy Street was still picked up. Tom Tate. 7 October 2014 is Katska 08 23 59 second. But a lagade will a number U8 8169. It all out in one available 5095. Who can you know? Tower at Tomoy Street. Can you just from 1855 to 1734 on the 27th of October. Can you just take us through the towers that it was pinging? Okay, that would be on the next page. Correct. 1855. I actually have from 1832-19. Which is yes. towards the middle of the page. That's correct. Yeah. Which towers can you just tell the court? From that time, Belgravia was picked up. Dog sorry, it's 1832 and 19 seconds. It's all yeah, color, yeah, 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 until 1957, 20 seconds. Uh, we have to 57 and number Now let's concentrate on the call recorded at 1832 and 19. That was an incoming call to the number ending 8169 from the number ending 3517 which lasted 42 seconds. So, I'm going to go to the number of 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 the number
as per an extra, um, exhibit S, an extra C, the number ending with 3517. How was it identified? Index number 197. 197, the number 071-507-3517, name Nkani, storage Yusum. So I have a particular index, uh, 197, you can see the number of the 071-507-35180, you can see the number One eighty. One ninety. Um. One ninety-seven. Interpreter, I think, is wrong. One ninety-seven. Index one ninety-seven. Right, and the number is zero seven one. Right. Five zero seven three five one seven. Yeah. No, the interpreter made a mistake. Did you say eight? And ending eight. No, it is 3517. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't end with 8. Fine, no problem. <laughs> I'm I must apologize if I said 8, my lord. Yeah, you said it. Saying seven. Ask Mr. Mnesi. Yes, and then the tower, tower location? The tower picked up was Belgravia. The tower picked up was Belgravia. Do you know where this tower is? But you have seen mm. the tower? No idea. Okay, and then the next one is 1997. That's correct, yes. yes. Okay, fine. At least I know now. That's it. Yeah. 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 Okay, on page 114, on the GPRS stream. <coughs> Any other activity on the 27th of October 2014? Yes. There were um, activities from 6.40 to the morning of 27. No, that one you already testified about, the second one of the date. The date at 8.13? Yes. Yes. There was, there was activity at 8.13.13. Moy Street was picked up. So go kona go enze ga ye go skatis ka 8 13 13 la poge go section so it tower u moy street that was picked up right until 8:56:14 seconds so ga ya section so is is 8:57 8.56.14 seconds. Yes, it is so. Fear is cut. 8.56 and 14 seconds. On the 28th of October. On the 28th of October. 2014. 2014. Let's take this step by step. Entry by entry. Okay. From 18.13, which one is the next transaction? 12.01.32. 
on the 27th of October 2014. October 2014, Moy Street was picked up. Moy Street At the same time, 20, uh, 12 oh 01 32 seconds, Moy Street. Now, so Moy Street seconds. We can then move on to the next date. The 28th of October 2014. At double zero zero one. No, let's, let's, before lunch, we'll, we'll visit that after lunch. Let's clarify this. The 27th of October 2014. Sure. The duration of the session, the internet session. <coughs> uh, please repeat yourself. I'm saying the duration. Yes. Yes. The duration on 120132, the first entrance is 92, and the second duration is 43108. Good to again, Skatiga Siga 120132. Wokalage Wago Imisusana Eun 90. Okay. Screen backwards now. A six fifty-two. Six fifty-two on which date? Twenty-seven October twenty fourteen. 27 at 652 30 <coughs> seconds the duration was 4843 and the tower picked up was moist street we took a and 50 seconds is about 4843 and the tower this one moist street Okay, and then lastly on this. We, we, we are lost again. The challenge is the state simply mentions the, the, time, I mean the time and uh, but does not take us directly to the page at which he is. Now I'm struggling to get to that 852 on, 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 on the information that I have here. Did I indicate my lord is 114? GPRS stream page one one four. Yeah, at least if the states indicate that we are now on GPRS and we are now on the towers and everything or on the AMA. But I do indicate, my lord, no, that now we are moving it, to the Mr. GPRS stream. You just call the the date and the and the and the time. You don't indicate whether we are, we are on GPRS or M M A A uh, A M A. My lord, can we then adjourn for lunch? It's one o'clock. <laughs> What's your time? It's one o'clock. Oh, is that so? Yes. Okay, two o'clock then. <laughs>